Hey everybody, welcome back to another video here on the Washington Football Maniacs channel. My name is Greg Sykes. Welcome to this channel if you're new here. And for those of you who are returning, please consider subscribing. Hey everybody, consider subscribing to this channel if you can. That really help us out. When you do, make sure you hit that notification bell so you'll never miss another video release here on the Washington Football Maniacs channel. We're going to do something a little bit different today. I want to read some of the comments uh, through some of my YouTube videos uh, because a lot of you guys, you're very knowledgeable fans and you know you tend to have some good comments in terms of um, you know what you think that things should be done with the team um comments about if i'm crazy or not which yeah, of course that's debatable and so forth and so on and so with that said let's get into the comments shall we so if we get into the comments here i'm not going to read them all i'm just going to pick a few um so um i got quite a few comments from yesterday's uh, video about uh ron rivera being really cold you know cold as ice with the media and uh, if I just go through here um, says well Ron just trying to get that money <laughs> he don't care about the team uh, you know he gets mad when people don't buy into his bull and you know, his excuses I'm trying to keep this clean folks um, he's going to clap back and talk crazy to Snyder when he wants to knowing what's going on or, or I should say, is he going to clap back and talk crazy to Snyder when he wants to know what's going on? And that's the question. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't know if Ron's just trying to get that money or not, but let's just face it. Any coach that comes to Washington right now, they're going to have to get paid a boatload of money because they're not going to come to Washington on you know shoestring budget right and thinking that hey i'm coming just because i have such a heart for this team that i want to see it succeed and i'm willing to take the the coach's minimum to make this team you know win a super bowl no nah, no nah. unless you get a you know up and coming you know, coordinator who's going to be a head coach, who's going to be sought after, and even those guys, um, they're going to go after the best possible scenario for them, the best, you know, place. And right now, let's just face it, Washington is not a good place for anybody. Uh, now, hopefully, if Ron does wind up leaving, that he would have left the culture in a better position than what it was before he came there. And, you know, I mean, I do feel like overall the franchise has tried to, you know, right a lot of wrongs. They have tried to change the culture. But the thing is, the one culture that has not been changed is the, the culture of winning. We're stu we still have a losing culture. And until then, I think you're going to continue to have a revolving door at coach. Um, you know, the... Goat Stature says he's mad because uh, Garoppolo, the Garoppolo stuff came right out, came out right before the Eagles game. Well, yeah, he was. He was extremely mad about that, and he he voiced his displeasure to the media that he was upset about that. He's like, you guys could have waited until after the game to have put that out, but no, they decided to put it out before the game, and felt that it was probably a distraction. And uh, so I, that, I don't blame Ron at all. I definitely don't blame Ron at all for that. Um, let's see. He turned after the, uh, the Jamin Davis nonsense when they spun what he said, saying he called him out when he was just answering truthfully, almost as if they are trying to create conflict in the locker room. Um, yeah, I mean... You know, I can kind of see that too because honestly, I even I felt that he was calling Jamin Davis out. A lot of people felt that he was calling Jamin Davis out. And not just 
you know, not just the media. Uh, and I'm, and I'll be honest with you. I don't follow everything the media says hook, line, and sinker. Because I feel like there's always, like, three sides to the story. There's his side, there's that other side, and then there's somewhere in the middle there's the truth. And so, I, you know, you can't always go by everything you hear in the media because, I mean, a lot of times it's just sensationalism just to get views and stuff like that and, and sponsorships. Um, Ron just hates to hear the truth. He'll be okay. <laughs> Oh, Zach Brown, I got my toes in the sand. Uh, Greg, this team is frustrating the fan out of me. I hear you, brother. I hear you loud and clear. I am frustrated. And I'll tell you what, um, a lot of people heard me very frustrated on Sunday. You know, basically saying, sorry, I think the sun is getting, oh, that's better. Um, you know, I, I was saying Sunday, I think I'm done with Ron. And uh, one fan tweeted back, are you really Are you really done with Ron? And I'm like, well, I'm getting there. Maybe I'm not quite done with him, but I'm frustrated. <clears throat> and um, yeah, a lot of us are frustrated. A lot of us are frustrated. Um, KJ says good stuff. Thank you so much. I, I, I'm trying to put out some good material here. Um, I would start with Ismail at center, um, put Schweitzer back at right guard and bench, uh, Trey Turner ASAP. And this is, um, uh, this is what, this is the video I had on adjusting the Washington commanders. If you haven't watched that video yet, please watch that video. Um, yeah, um, I think we definitely need to shake things up on the offensive line because right now the offensive line is getting pushed around and beat up and you got to make some changes the guys right now is just not working it is not working we're starting to see the reason you know as much as last year i kind of looked at um brandon sheriff and i was like you know brandon sheriff he he's a solid player when he's healthy and i don't know it's like i would see a lot of holding calls and stuff on him and and really starting to think maybe he's not such a Pro Bowl lever, a level player. And then once he's gone, it's like you really don't see what he does. Like you know, it's not just it's not just him making plays as much as you know the offensive line has to be like you know different cogs in the system all working together, right? And I think when you have uh, quality guys like Brandon Sheriff, you can't just plug and play those guys, right? Trent Williams, you can't replace him. And because of that, we're starting to see the cracks in the offensive line. We're going to have to really address that next year. Um, <clears throat> more from uh, my last video. Uh, Coach Rivera feeling the pressure. He will not be back in 2023 and probably finished as an NFL head coach as he's only had three winning seasons in 11 years of being a head coach. Uh, has he only had three years? Three winning seasons? Maybe? That could be right. I don't, I don't know. I thought he had more than that. But, I mean, you could be right. Um, you know, I, I don't know. Uh one thing that Rick Snyder said before, and he was asked this about Ron Rivera, is the fact that you have such turmoil right now in the owner's booth. All the stuff that's going on with Dan Snyder, that it may not be the best time for Dan Snyder to be firing anybody. And with all intents and purposes, I'm not sure if he's still suspended or not. So if he's still suspended, then you'd be looking at Tanya Snyder being the one to fire. Would she do it? I don't know. I'm thinking that by default, regardless of what happens, I mean, there would have to be a huge, huge collapse this year. And it could happen because it's not starting off so good. But 
Um, I mean, you know, barring a huge collapse, I really think by default they wouldn't have much of a choice. They would probably have to let Ron Rivera come back for at least one more season. That's what I'm kind of seizing. Seeing. <laughs> That's what I'm kind of seizing. Mm. Lord, I forgot to get my coffee. Anyway, um, moving right along. We're going to wrap this video up here because it's starting to get a little bit longer. One more. I'm going to do one more. Um, Ron said three years. This is, uh, this is an ugly start to our three years and first year with a new, ba uh, new brand. Ugh. I can read, folks. A, a lot has been going on on the field, in the media, off the field, etc. We can push through. Yeah, I mean, um, I appreciate that, Rail. Um, you know, he did say three years, and this is definitely, like I said, it's an ugly start. And this is the first year of our new brand. You would think just with all the surrounding of the, the new brand and stuff like that, that, um, you know, people would be excited. But, you know, it just goes to show you, it doesn't matter what is on that helmet. doesn't matter the color of the uniforms and stuff like that. When it gets out on the field, it comes down to talent versus talent. Uh, and that's just not the players, it's the coaches, right? And so um, we're seeing right now that there is a discrepancy in the coaching, I think. Um, and drive and, and talent, I believe. There's also some key people who are injured. Um, but, you know, it, it's it's not been a good start. You know, I can definitely say if it was a 1-3 and three start, but the games were close, like the games were decided on a last-minute field goal, and, you know, both teams played really well and all this stuff, kind of like, for instance the Green Bay-Tampa Bay game last week. You know, obviously that game came down to the last, you know, failed two-point two point conversion, right? So, um, having said that, if the, if the games were decided like that, you would say, okay, it's a tough start, but we're hanging in there. We're playing well. We just got to have some better luck coming our way. But... That's not been the case, right? We have really been beat up. And right now the Eagles, they're still, I mean, even the coach. Um, and I, I thought about having a video just on that, but I'm not sure if you guys really would have wanted that or not. Um, even the coach is getting into it, talking about how he would rather have Mike Quick than Art Monk any day. And the Eagles just, when, when they're flying high, so to speak, they, they just want to pile on. Um, they're really cocky right now. And uh, so and definitely after a beatdown of a fellow NFC East division foe, oh, their, their heads are in the cloud. And uh, so what's going to happen this week? Who knows? Who knows? All right, folks, I hope you enjoyed uh, this video. If you did, uh, give it a like. Uh, let me know in the comment section, do you enjoy these types of videos, uh, me reading the comments. If so, I'll try to work this in as, as a regular thing. If not, I will not do it anymore. Uh, again, please um, consider supporting this channel by uh, subscribing to it, um, sharing the videos, liking the videos, comment, you know, be interactive as much as you possibly can. I appreciate it. Uh, you can also support me in other ways by, well, doing this. Seem to get out. But something deep inside